Welcome to the West Collects YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching, consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you do, tap the notification bell so you'll be notified when I post videos and go live right here on YouTube. Want to support the channel some more? By all means, smash the like button. It goes a long way and it gives me the opportunity to do more reviews, more unboxing, and more giveaways for you guys. So, welcome back. Today we have a detailed look and review of Hawaiian Punch Guy and Planters Mr. Peanut. Also, we're going to be picking a winner for the second giveaway here in January for the character from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Casey Jones. I appreciate all the feedback on the previous video as far as suggestions for future giveaways. I will take those in consideration. I'm going to say right here, right now, leave some more suggestions down in the comment section for more giveaways that you would like to see from me in the future. Now, without further ado, let's get a detailed look at Hawaiian Punch Guy. the b-roll now let's take a look at Hawaiian punch guy in the box and this is at icon number 116 check out the side of the box definitely got the classic uh, design on the background I like that and then on the back of the box it definitely gives you that nostalgic feel with the classic character with the classic can on top of his head. For those that don't know, Hawaiian Punch was introduced in 1950. It was created by a guy named A.W. Leo and it was brought on shelves in 1955. Check out this commercial from 1976. Fruit Juicy, hey, how about a nice Hawaiian Punch? Sure. You taste seven kinds of fruit in Hawaiian Punch. Seven kinds of fruit in Hawaiian Punch. Hawaiian Punch is made with seven kinds of fruit for a one of a kind fruit taste. Hawaiian Punch Fruit Punch with 10% real fruit juice for a real fruit juicy taste. Hawaiian Punch is made with seven kinds of fruit for a one of a kind fruit taste. As you can see from that commercial, the reason he has the name Punchy. Is because you get punched when he asks you, how about a Hawaiian punch? <laughs> and so that's exactly why they got the name Punchy for the character Hawaiian Punch, man. Uh, Hawaiian Punch is still popular to this day. I actually still buy it. Uh, I'm not as old as 1950, but I'm just saying. I still buy it for my kids. They love it. They drink it. You know, I don't drink it too much. It has a lot of syrup in it, but kids going to be kids and they like to drink what they want to drink. For the most part. So yeah, man. This is definitely one I had to grab. Uh, you can find Hawaiian Punch Guy in Hot Topic. I did not shoot a video uh, with this right here. Because that was the day that I was out uh, with the fam. I was just in motion. You know what I mean? Enjoying the day. Spending time with them. As everyone should. But I did post uh, a little video to my Instagram. I tried to retrieve that video. To share with you guys here on the channel. Unfortunately, it's gone. It's disappeared. And I was, when I was at Hot Topic, that was during the Hot Cash. Uh, and there was a lot of pops that was in stock that they had at the location that I went to. I didn't go to my local one. I actually ventured out because I decided to do more ventures this year in 21. Instead of just sticking to the local surroundings, I'm going to be going out, people. I'm telling you guys, all the way up past Funko headquarters. And that's two hours away. So that so that I'll let you know how far I'm going to be going as far as bring you guys reviews and unboxings and I actually got a dope idea that I will be announcing in the next video now we're gonna take a little short break we're gonna tap in over on the computer let's pick a winner for Casey Jones we got everything ready to go locked and loaded and there was only two I had mentioned that there was three and it wasn't so good luck to all two of you both of you <laughs> this is funny remember more giveaways to come from the channel. 
So stay tuned for that. Moxie, you are the winner. And let's read Moxie's comment. I saw a little gap, so I wanted to put both options just in case. Love the video, Brody. Appreciate you, my boy. Now, let's go to, actually, let me get a little, get a little screenshot for this for my purposes. There, like that. Now, let's go to YouTube channel. Let's see the channels portion. Don't get it right. And there the subscriber is. He is subscribed. So let's check Instagram real quick. And I know who this person is. This was a previous coworker to previous. A worker of mine. And he is following. So. Be sure to hit me up. In the DM. So I can meet up with you. In town. And deliver. AC Jones to you. Congratulations. Now let's get back to the video. Let's give him congratulations to the winner. And without further ado. Let's get a detailed look. In review of Planners, Mr. Peanut. So here's Mr. Peanut back in his box. And this is at icon number 107. Definitely looks cool, man. Check him out. Check him out. Check out the side of the box. Here is the back. Mr. Peanut became about in the 1900s. If I'm not mistaken, it was 1916. And he died at the age of 104 years old. In the previous Super Bowl, uh, in one of the commercials, he died off and then uh, was born Baby uh, Peanut. In 1920, uh, Planters Peanuts was sold for five cents. Get you a, a bag of peanuts for five cents. The reason I picked up this Funko Pop uh, was because my grandmother and my grandfather, they enjoy eating Planters Peanuts. They used to send me to the store for them, go get me, go get me some peanuts from the store, you know. And my uh, grandfather and grandmother, they're from North Carolina. So that was like uh, their thing that they, they, they like to eat, you know, past time watching a game or something. Or my grandmother reading the newspaper, she throw peanuts in the oven roast them for a little bit, and then eat them, you know. So that's the reason behind me uh, getting Mr. Peanut. And like everybody know, peanuts are still around to this day. In 1999, the Nutmobile made its debut. So if you will pull up to a football game or a baseball game, of course baseball, when you're watching baseball, everybody, well, not everybody, but majority of the fans as they watching, they like to eat peanuts. So, you know, you could catch the, the Nutmobile outside the baseball game or at a football game or wherever they wanted to show up and display the Nutmobile to you guys. Then the Nutmobile got revamped in 2015. And this one here, it, it looks not bad. The first one, it kind of looks like the, the weenie mobile. It just got Mr. Peanuts sitting at the at the tail end of the vehicle. Robert Downey Jr. played the voice of Mr. Peanut from 2010 to 2013. And then from 2013 to 2017, the voice was from Bill Hatter. 
So just a little information for you guys, for those that don't know, you know, a little research, a little history lesson for plants as peanuts, man. Leave a comment down in the comment section. I would love to hear your feedback on today's review and look at Hawaiian Punch Guy and Mr. Peanut. Which one uh, would you add to your collection or would you pass up on these two nostalgic Funko Pops right here? For me, I gave you my reasons why I brought them. Hopefully, you enjoyed today's video, and i catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.